everybody. It's Friday, June 17th, 2016. My name is Connor Brock and I'm one of the attorneys here at the North Carolina Medical Society with your legislative update for the week. Uh, the main action this week uh, was in the Senate Health Committee. The uh, senators took up a proposal that would repeal or phase out the state certificate of need program uh, over the next five years to be completely uh, gone by the year 2021. Uh, as is often the case with discussions around CON, uh, the debate was often contentious with legislators and members of the public speaking both in favor of and strongly against the, uh, the proposal to repeal. Ultimately, the committee uh, decided not to take a vote on the proposal, so the CON repeal bill remains in Senate Health for now and perhaps until the end of session. For the last couple of years, the General Assembly has been struggling with how to respond to the uh, opioid epidemic and prescription drug abuse epidemic in North Carolina. This week, they finalized their work on one proposal. It was Senate Bill 734, which authorizes the North Carolina State Health Director to issue a statewide standing order for naloxone. Under the standing order, pharmacies across the state would be able to dispense naloxone, which is an opioid antagonist used to counteract the effects of uh, opioid and heroin overdoses directly to members of the public who meet certain criteria. This bill, uh, as I mentioned, was finalized in the legislature this week, is going to the governor for his signature. We understand that early next week the governor will sign it and simultaneously the state health director will issue the statewide standing order uh, for naloxone. Finally, uh, I want to give a special thank you to the physicians that attended our White Coat Wednesday this week. We had representatives from the North Carolina Pediatric Society and the Western Carolina Medical Society uh, come join us here and uh, thank you to them for taking time out of their schedules and participating in the legislative process. Uh, that is the legislative update for this week. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and we'll see you next time.